Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful March day in the southwestern part of Virginia. So I figured we'd uh, do a mail call outside. I haven't done one in a while. I've got uh, a bunch of neat purchases to show you guys, a couple updates. Um, no new channel stickers in, but I think I got one coming in from across the pond, so that'll probably be here by the next mail call. So first off, I want to say, you know, thanks for hanging in and uh, being a subscriber to the channel. I know the content has been a little bit lacking, but as you've been following my channel, you know, we're trying to get this shop built over here to my right, and, uh, you know, it's been horrible. <clears throat> so as you can tell, it's nice and sunny today, but they're calling for rain for the next three days. And that's the way it's been week after week after week. You know, as soon as it starts to dry out, then we get rain again. And we need about two weeks of just nice sunshine and no rain so I can get, uh, you know, the job site dried out. We can get a bobcat in there. We can get the inside formed up for concrete and then the concrete trucks can come out. You know, I don't want them getting stuck. So that's kind of where we're at with the shop. So quick little update on that. And uh, I guess We'll get set up, get the camera turned around, and I'll show you some of my cool purchases. So the first purchase of many to show you guys, I picked up uh, one of the Harbor Freight Gen 2's tool cabinets. This is the uh, 44 incher, and the depth is 22 inches. You know, every two or three months they have about $50 off. So I went ahead and grabbed it. This is going to probably occupy most of the lathe and mill tooling so that'll be cool be filled with a bunch of goodies so do uh, anybody need to take a piss <laughs> yeah that's right you're looking at a urinal it is portable check that out so now i got a bathroom for the shop is that cool or what so as i've mentioned before it wasn't cost effective to put in a septic system and uh, spend all that kind of money just to put a bathroom in the shop. So I was trying to figure out some alternatives. I was gonna buy a porta john and stick it out back, but I didn't wanna deal with the expenses of you know calling them every quarter or six months or something to have them pump it out and, and keep it fresh. So I was trying to think of uh, another idea and in the Related products of this company this thing popped up. So I was like, oh man, this is cool and they uh, tout it for job sites and whatnot So, you know, you can stick it anywhere where you don't have the ability to have a porta john or a bathroom and uh, Like you said, I think it'll work out really good. So Pretty cool. I said once it's filled up, you know, you just roll it And you know, I can take it up here and I can dump it. So now I got a uh, an interesting bathroom for the shop so I've been uh, jumping on the red bandwagon lately. You know, I like uh, my yellow tools. I've got a bunch of DeWalt stuff, but it just seems like, um, you know, Milwaukee's just, you know, taking it and, and run with it. So they've got a, you know, a new line, the M12 stuff, which is awesome. I mean, they keep coming out with new tools. So I went ahead and decided to uh, pick up a couple. And this is there impact driver if you watch the coat hanger 2020 video you saw this and then i picked up the die grinder also so this actually was a die grinder kit it came with two batteries and a charger so pretty sweet so liking the m12 stuff and of course you got to have some pads so Picked up a bag of uh, medium grit roto locks, and of course, you know, I could make one of these if I wanted to, but figured for uh, the few bucks it was, yeah, I figured I'd just grab the kit. What's nice is this, you know, this is actual extra long, so you've got longer reach, and they call it basically thermostat gasket remover by Lyle, part number is 22500. So that way you can get into the hard to reach spots instead of using your standard one. So pretty cool. And I figured I'd uh, support a couple fellow YouTube creators. So Randy Richard is trying to add on to his shop and uh, he has a campaign right now to uh, buy his awesome dovetail cutters. 
and some of the proceeds go to uh, building the extension to his shop. So go over there and support Randy if you need a dovetail cutter. I picked up the nice gun blue set. So you've got the large and the small. And with that, he throws in his latest scribe. And Keith Rucker has come out with his uh, baby Camelback. This is a nine inch straight edge casting. You, know, you get to finish it yourself. So this will be a fun project. Um, you know, I'd like to do it on the shaper, kind of like what Adam Booth did. So that'll be an upcoming video. So if you get a chance, go over to uh, Keith's channel and support him. Pick you up a Camelback. He's got them fairly priced. I don't know if you've uh, gone on eBay and see how expensive Camelbacks are. But uh, this way you can get a, a nice new one and you can machine it yourself. Picked this Wiggler set up off of eBay. Wasn't bad. It's fairly inexpensive. They have this USA, which is kind of why I bought it, but I think it's misleading. I think this is false advertising. Because <laughs> then when I started going through some more searches, I found a whole bunch of these from a whole bunch of sellers in China. So I think they got me on that one. So I'm not sure about the quality. It seems to be pretty good. So we'll see how accurate it is once my shop's up and running and how well it works. See, this pretty good. I picked up this Pittman aeronautical engineering series book and this is aircraft materials I'm getting the light here aircraft materials and processes this is the third edition a uh, a viewer mentioned it in the comments and uh, I can't remember what video I was watching but um, you know as you guys know I picked up one of Stan's hotshot 360s and I want to do some uh, heat treating and some stuff but I haven't been able to find a good resource that really breaks it down what material, what temperature, for how long, and then to go to temper it. Well, this book does it. So, for instance, here he talks about if you're just going to use 1025 mild steel. So, you're talking about don't exceed 1100 Fahrenheit. Putting the temperature up to... Uh, 1625 to 1675 gradually and then you uh, hold it at that temperature for 30 to 45 minutes depending on the thickness and then it said it breaks it down and then if you want to treat it so and it goes through a whole bunch of different metals so awesome resource so if so if you want to start heat treating and if you got your hot shot 360 or if you got uh, you know another oven of sorts this may be an awesome reference to pick up so like i said this is the third edition aircraft materials and processes well i want a gantry crane for the shop and i've been looking on amazon and a decent one's fairly expensive so i figured what the heck we'll go ahead and build us one i ordered these plans off of ebay they're pretty cheap i think maybe 10 bucks whatever but so they're engineered plans and it gives you the breakdown of the lengths and the size of material and everything so you know you're good to go instead of just doing a wild ass guess and you know just buying you some two by two or three by three or four by four or something then you really don't know what it can handle so that'll be an upcoming video once the shop's up and running we'll have us a gantry and last of the goodies here i got a couple prints as you guys know i've been uh buying them here and there so i'll have some uh cool pictures to hang on the inside of the office in the shop once I'm up and running and this one is the Bureau of Standards equipment machine shop back in 1920 so hopefully I can hold it and you guys can see it pretty cool but uh, looks like they do have electricity but some of them are running off of long belts with electric motors looks like you got a uh, stomp shear there cool old shaper uh, looks like a horizontal mill and of course you guys got somebody working on a lathe over there it's got that rod up there I wonder if that's like a, a Pratt & Whitney like Mike Wiggins has so thought that was pretty cool and then I ran across this one here this is a Trumbo foundry and machine shop down the road in Broadway Virginia this picture was taken 
probably in the 30s. I thought that was pretty neat. I've got a historic photo of a place right down the road. I imagine the building's probably long gone by now, but pretty cool. Well, there's the uh, status of the shop. All the outside is done except for the front. So basically you start from one corner and as I understand it, you know, you put on the outside sheeting and you go all the way around, you know, and then when you come to the end, you know, you can trim it up. So that's kind of why they haven't finished the front. And also we need the room so the cement truck can get in there. So that's what it's looking like, you know, nice and dry. <laughs> and here comes the rain. So it's such a bummer. But hopefully soon we'll be in there and we'll be rock and rolling. So hang tight with me on that. Well, that's about it for the purchases. Kind of ran through them fast. But, uh, you know, a few neat items I picked up. Um, forklift. We are still trying to make progress on the mass cylinder. Didn't think it'd be so hard to try to find seals. Uh, the two kits that were shown available that we got... Um, it's like some of the parts in the kit fit and some of them didn't. So we are trying to piecemeal, you know, the correct seals and O-rings and all that stuff. So I, that's where we're at on that. So once we get the, the mask done, then we'll do video number two, we'll put it back together and hopefully we'll have a good running forklift. So um, I know a couple people are probably wondering on that. And I think that's probably about it, guys. You know, I appreciate you hanging in there. Appreciate you subscribing. Uh, you know, as soon as it dries out, we'll have a shop video showing the concrete getting done and then fingers crossed hopefully we can get in there pretty soon so you know hey thanks for all the support and we'll catch you on the next video